That's right, all you scooter aficionados. This weekend in the Wire Rapid, there's a very, very important event. It's the ninth annual classic scooter run, and I'm here to talk about it with Jess Corbett. She's the organiser of, of the event. Jess, welcome to Good Morning. Thank you. Now, we've got some pretty flash bikes there, I must yeah. say. Let, let's tell us about the event. It's been going for nine years now. Yep. And when it first started, and who came up with the idea? Um, well, the New Zealand Classic Scooter Club's been running for about 15 years, mm -hmm. and um, they had the first one in uh, 2000 in Napier and uh, it's basically kept momentum and run every year since in so, a different so, location every year. So just tell us about the different uh, I guess events that happen throughout the, the rally. Um, well there's usually a ride around the area that we're staying in right? and always have scooter games. So the scooter games expand yeah. a little the gym, bit more The gym Gymkhana, um, depending on the terrain, um, we usually try and have a hill climb, a seesaw, um, going around cones, um, Anything that's likely to make people fall off. Um, <laughs> is it always the same every year, or do you just no, come up No, it's different. With... There's different organisers every year because oh, right. it's, it's like a, the regional um, scooterists. So who organizer. decides on, I guess, where you go to each year? Uh, it sort of just seems to happen. Right. Um, it's sort of at each rally, there's um, a sort of a consensus on where the place to hold the next one is. Right. Yeah. Tell us about the different people that, that, that come along to the, the different rallies. Oh, this, this particular club rally seems to attract all sorts of people, um, quite a wide range of age groups and right. people from, from sort of all, all walks, all sorts of occupations. So it's a really good chance to see all sorts of different people interested in scooters. Let's talk about the different scooters that, that come along to the different rallies because I imagine there's, you know, people have been riding these kind of bikes for, for a long time, so they there have, may be some yeah. older ones and some newer yeah. model ones. Well, because it's run by the Classic Scooter Club, mm -hmm. um, there's always a lot of older scooters. Um, so Let's talk about your one, for example. I mean, how old is that? It's a 1959. Really? Vespa. Yeah. How long, so how long have you had this for? Oh, I've had it for a few years. It came from under a tree in Fielding. And, oh, really? Yeah, got ridden around for a while. Then had a little incident with another vehicle, not not while I was riding, and has been uh, partially restored and just been just been putting around town on it basically. It's um, nearing retirement so... Uh, yeah. But it's still in it looks in pretty yeah, good condition. Yeah it still gets me around, uh, the, the speeds are a lot slower on a classic scooter, mm -hmm. it's like any vintage vehicle, they're a little bit slower. Um, what would that cost you for something like, like this? A restored one, or they go one? for a lot more. Cause really? they, yeah, especially New Zealand ones, mm -hmm. ones that were brought into New Zealand in the 50s and 60s are getting a bit harder to come by. Um, so, three to four thousand, depending on the condition of the restoration. If, if people want to get involved with, with the different rallies, mm. how do they go about it? Basically, get a scooter. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be an old one. We have a lot of people on newer ones. There's a lot of new modern scooters around that um, don't have some of the foibles of the, the older scooters. I was going to say that about mm. some of the some of the newer models that you have behind you, the, yes. the, the Vespas, the old classic. Yep. I mean, when I was at Italy, I remember they they all cruise around on on. They're all uh, the riding Vespa. around on modern big scooters time, now. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you see a lot more people around New Zealand that are that are riding. It's been a big on influx of people mm -hmm. um, in scootering. I mean, uh, it, the popularity sort of come and gone over the last 50 years. And it's it's sort of riding a crest at the moment. There's there's a lot more people getting interested, and there's a lot more scooters available. So, just what would a, you know one of the up you know the, the one of these models cost the Vespas? Five to six thousand. Is that the most expensive, the or, or you oh, can no, look at more? Oh no, no, it depends. You, there's some big uh, maxi scooters that go for close to ten thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, five five hundred cc plus. Mm -hmm. um, we call them maxi scooters because they're you know obviously pretty big when you get to to that size. And the speeds that they they get up to? Oh easily equaling motorcycles, you know, the fast motorcycles. You, you must, I, I just, I'm just trying to think about the rallies, you must have kind of classes because if you're doing those uphill um, races, I mean something like this up against one of the, you know, more modern models. It's... Well also the other problem is if you've got to ride home on it, you want to be a bit careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I haven't decided, you know, to what extent I'll do the hill climb on mine, but we, <laughs> we try and have, have one that anyone can actually have a go on, that doesn't matter if they drop just to get people involved as well. But we generally haven't had enough people to warrant having classes in, right. in the Gymkhana as mm -hmm. such. It's just about the getting gym people. The Gymkhana, I love the name, I love the name. What else could you call it? And, and the other great thing is is economical with, with petrol, I guess, and yeah. looking after the environment. Yeah. It's a great way of uh, yeah. getting around I mean, as I well. hardly use my car. I've got a car because I've got two kids, but you know, I, I commute to work. 
bikes. On this. So quickly, just this weekend, how do people, uh, I guess, people can get see the with it? scooters? Yes. Um, anyone can come to Martinborough about midday on Saturday, mm -hmm. and we will all be parked up there for maybe an hour or so. And, and that's, they, yeah. that's when the best place to see us. And if they want to bring their cam camera along for the gym counter to see some of the people oh, being Oh no, that, that's actually bikes. on private property. Oh, um, really? Yeah, the actual events are, are held out of Martinborough, so that's actually on a private farm. Well, well Jess, yeah. it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you yeah. so much, everyone, for coming on the show. Thank you. I'm going to get you to start your engines up because I'm going to go and burn some rubber. Next up, Asta's making fish fingers. We'll see you soon. Let's go!